Do I think we're being watched? Absolutely. <laughs> is Bigfoot real? Bigfoot is absolutely 100% real. My name is Jason Weaver and I'm a Bigfoot researcher, experiencer. You know, there's believers and there's knowers and I'm a knower. Georgia is very um, active. It's one of, one of the hotbeds in the country. You'll see trees that'll be bent over like this and the top part of the tree will be driven into another tree. That's an example right there. I mean, that's kind of the stuff that they do. Some have seen them uh, as big as 12 foot, allegedly, but the average is usually anywhere from seven to nine foot tall. Sasquatch need plenty of cover, lots of wooded areas, lots of uh, forest areas. They need plenty of fresh water. This is not a subject you can just bring up to anyone. Uh, a lot of people will look at you like your cheese is slipping off your cracker if you, if you talk about such things. This is the buttocks imprint. Uh, I believe the print was left in the snow or the mud. That's a, that's a butt right there for sure. One of my techniques that I use uh, to lure Bigfoot out of hiding is gifting them things. The best tool you can take in that situation is always keep an open mind. Well, what about this? This work? New Realm Hazy Like a Fox IPA. I don't think anybody's ever gifted a craft beer, so fruit's a big uh, integral part of their diet, so uh, a fruity flavor and it's smooth, I think it'd be a great option. So what if we built a bar big enough for Bigfoot? <laughs> I don't think that's ever been tried. Well, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. He sat here. His shoulders would probably be right about there. I think it's the perfect size for a Bigfoot. What I'm gonna do is project the sound of this can of beer opening, and the sound will carry for miles into the woods in, in hopes of uh, luring them back here to the bar. Get the scent in the air. Hopefully any motion that comes into our area will catch it on camera. <laughs> 